to share screen. Okay. 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 Um, everyone. So just give me a second, yeah. Okay, good. Ready to begin? I feel that there's a lack in having performing arts uh, inculcated in kids, uh, especially at a young age. Uh, you normally start seeing it around your high school years, uh, secondary school. But I thought this was a perfect opportunity for her to really get into something and find out her interest in it.
as you ever wish the bird the bird died the end Good evening and welcome to the launch of Rahman's Big Break Storybook written by David Chin and illustrated by Leong Wai Kong. My name is Shufi Chui and I will be your host for tonight. And the two videos that you saw just now are Kaki Sini Initiative's Sini Mad, Sini Making a Difference and Sini Kids designed to spread the love for the arts to young people. Thank you, for the Swad Thank you to the Swadaya Collective Grab Budaya and Georgetown Literary Festival for having us tonight. It feels wonderful to have everyone here joining us tonight for the launch of the final and third installment of the Hikayat series. Before that, I would like to welcome Mr. William Tam, a representative of the Swadai Collective, to give a few words. Okay, hello, can everyone hear me? Okay, okay perfect. Okay, thanks. Okay, well, I mean, um, it's the one thing I would have to say first and foremost is, um, well, when we set out to do some to work with the Georgetown Literary Festival this year, well, we didn't really want to host uh, something live and in person because it's, well, it's not, it's because it's something very magical about the whole idea of like um, building communities and live events. But um, unfortunately, because of the circumstances, this is the uh, best situation we can come up with, but hopefully it's still a good way to um, to still have a book launch at this time and to still have things going, even though we're still in a relatively difficult situation, like health-wise uh, health and the fact that CMCO is still like uh, extended um, more or less uh, nationwide. Uh, but what, I'm very, very glad to have uh, Kaki Sani on board uh, with us today. Uh, to, and this actually marks the very first event in the Swadaya uh, and the Georgetown Literary Festival uh, collaboration. So it's, it's quite a nice way to start, start things off with something with a deep historic and cultural roots um, within the Malaysian psyche. Um, without, and I, without too much ado, I'm gonna turn the whole event over to Gaki Sani for the night because this, after all, is your party. It is, you have to book up and now is a chance to uh, see it go live into the world. Uh, back over to all of you. Thank you, William. Now, a bit of the, about the Hikayat series. Hikayat series is an initiative by Kakisini in collaboration with MPH Publishing to highlight Malay traditional performing arts. We first launched Shadows, which follows Adam into a Wayang Kulit world adventure. Then we launched The Girl Who Loves to Dance, which had Nana pursuing her passion in dance while the readers get a chance to learn about the art of Mayong. Thank you to parents, educators, partners, and everyone who has been a part of the Hikayat journey. We are truly grateful for the support that we've been receiving from all of you. Tonight, we are officially welcoming Rahman into the Hikayat family. Set in 1920s, Georgetown, Penang, Rahman is a son of Dean and Maimun, owners of a successful Malay opera troupe. As you follow his journey to become a star, you will be transported into a colorful world of theater bangsawan referenced from actual settings in Georgetown, Penang. We would like to thank this. We would like to take this opportunity to thank Professor Tan Sui Bang from School of Arts USM as the advisor for Rahman's Big Break. She helped us give an insight into the brilliance of theater bangsawan. For, your, for the audience who are tuning in tonight, you have the chance to win Hikayat series. Two sets of Hikayat series are up for grabs tonight. So keep an eye on the comment section. Answer the questions in the comments and two winners will, have, will be chosen as 
the winners of the Hikat series. We will also have a Q&A session with the president of Kakisini, Ms. Lau Ngai Yuan, and illustrator of the book, Leong Wai Kong, towards the end of tonight's session. So get your questions ready. For now, let's welcome Ms. Lau Ngai Yuan to say a few words about the Hikayat series. Shufitri, tak pernah pun I hear you call me Miss Lau Ngai Yuan. Apa ni, malam ni, what's happened? I'm okay, shocked. <laughs> exactly, I'm like, apa ni, Miss Miss ni? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you like all the protocols, but really, uh, this is the night that uh, is dedicated to both the writer as well as the illustrator of the book. I think you thank everyone who's worked on this book um, behind the scenes. And uh, we are... we you, Doing the Hikayat series, it's it's really, it's not it's not a few months. I think we can ask Wai Kong later. Uh, the entire process was like what, years, right? It, it was like minimum two years, if not even for shadows, um, for the girl who loves to dance. It took months before anything actually comes out because we're very particular about the subject matter. We're very passionate about what we're trying to say. Because we are, this is a children's book, and we and we travel with this book to all to many different schools, um, and because of that, the responsibility and how we want the tradition to come across, uh, how we want it to be represented, how we want to interest the children, how we want the children to be exposed to this tradition, matter a lot to us, and we think through a lot of different scenarios of how do we want to empower them to try, how is this going to be used as a tool. Uh, to let them experience uh, the different tradition that we're trying to feature. Uh, Raman's Big Break is about um, Bangsawan and uh, not many people, I must say, whenever we talk to young people, especially or even adults, they don't know enough about Bangsawan if they've even heard about it. So this is something we want to break and this is something we want to talk about for this year, uh, going into the next year, non-stop. We're going to talk about Bangsawan non-stop, just like how we did Wayang Kulit for one whole year. And then after that, we uh, talked about uh, um, the girl who loves to dance, um, Joget, and so many more. So this is our third in the installation. is our final um, installation in the series of Hikayat. We hope to bring it to your school. Uh, watching the videos earlier reminded me so much of uh, the community work that we have been doing at the grassroots level. Um, and I miss that very much. Um, uh, that's why when we did the Wayang Kulit um, workshop online, there were so many participants. And as much as we try, it's not the same as doing it with everyone else physically. Uh, so we do miss that quite a fair bit. Um, and hopefully the team um, will come up with a really good way um, uh, with Raman's Big Break to bring this to your child. Uh, to bring this to your school. So please let us know how you like to participate with us. Um, it's, I'm really sorry, I missed out. I have two books with me here, two books. Oh, you know, this Zoom backdrop thing is like, I'm missing my face and I'm missing everything. So I have two of the books here. I, I, I think I showed everyone my favorite, um, uh, uh, all my favorites and, and Shadow, it's, it's missing. Shufitri, I'm sorry. Shufitri is the illustrator for Shadow. Uh, that's one of my all-time favorite. Um, and I will read this um, again and again. So with every single book, we will go out and read to as many young people as possible. And I think with Shadows, I've read it maybe close to 87 times or something like that. Uh, let me see if I can try and break that record with Raman's Big Break. Thank you very much. And I hope to have everyone join us in this journey, in this Hikayat journey, and to make sure um, that the tradition is kept alive in our storytelling, in our sharing with our children. Um, please don't miss that out. You can get this book from all the major bookstores. If not, you can just get in touch with us at Kakisani and we'll send it right to you. Um, yes, we're really enjoying this. Please be a part of what we're doing. And I look forward to have a conversation with Waiko shortly. Thank you, Shufitri. Thank you, Yuan. Okay, this is Shut All Man. It, my Zoom Exactly, backdrop. exactly. Okay, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is the Shadows book. And then um, we have the girl who loves to dance. And then we have also, also welcome Rahman to the Hikayat family. Thank you, Yuan. Next, we have a special message 
from someone who has been supporting the Hikayat series, Director General of Jabatan Kesinian dan Kebudayaan Negara, Tan Sri Norliza Rofli. Welcome and a very good evening. It is a pleasure to be here with all of you tonight at the launch of Rahman's Big Break from the Hikayat series by Kaki Seni, a project under the Georgetown Literary Festival 2020. This is what we are launching tonight. Rama's Big Break, written by David Chin, illustrated by Leong Wai Kong. I still remember being at the launch of the first book, Shadows, from Hikayat series four years ago. I'm glad that for Rama's Big Break, based on Theatre Bangsawan, we return to its birthplace, Penang. So the setting for this book is in Penang. Today, however, Malay opera are rarely performed and it started to decline since cinema and television appeared. More can and should be done to save bangsawan and other traditional art form. Children's storybook like Rahman's Big Break, The Girl Who Loves to Dance, based on Mak Yong, and Shadows, based on Wayang Kulit, are one of the few efforts taken by organisations like Kaki Seni to ensure Malaysians not only have access to our traditional performing arts, but also to keep the art forms alive. I sincerely hope that more organisations and NGOs will emulate and even expand Kaki Seni's work. We are blessed to have so many talented writers in Malaysia, and actually we have so many stories that need to be told. They are able, the writers are able to move our hearts and instill a sense of awe, wonder and excitement, sometimes with just one sentence. Thus, I would like to congratulate Kaki Seni and partners MPH, Gerak Budaya and Georgetown Literary Festival for working together to bring more awareness on our culture and heritage through the, through the written word. For all of you watching this, please, please pick up a book and nurture the love of reading amongst our children. There, are, there is so much to discover and learn in the pages of a book. So pick up a book and be inspired. On behalf of everyone, it is an absolute joy for me to launch Rahman's Big Break, the final installment of Hikayat series by Kaki Seni. It is a book written by Malaysians for Malaysians and is about Malaysia. Thank you and let's start reading. Thank you, Tan Sri Norliza. With that, we are ready to launch Rahman's Big Break. Here is an animated preview of Rahman's Big Break, right by actor Ng Chu Xiong, who, just like Rahman, is also Penang born. Review Rahman's Big Break, written by David Chin, illustrated by Leong Wai Kong. Rahman was a performer in Dean and Maimun's Grand Opera in the year 1929. His ayah, Din, was the director, and his ibu, Mai Moon, was the Sri Pangong and the star. Together, they were co-owners of the number one Malay opera troupe in Georgetown, Penang. As time went by, Raman watched the other actors and memorized their roles by heart. He knew how to act like every character on stage, and even learned the silat moves. In time, he learned every move and every line. So when would it be his turn to shine? The next day, Raman hopped on his bicycle to see his best friend, Ahok, the smartest boy he knew with the wisest grandpa. Ahok would know what to do. There you go. So we hope you enjoyed the glimpse of Rahman's world coming to life. There are so many uh, colorful pages here. I'm just gonna give a, a taste, a flick for you. So many co colorful pages. And now we can start the conversation about the book and the Hikayat series. Feel free to, to ask your questions and share your thoughts in the comments during this session. I present to you Yuan, and the illustrator of Rahman's Big Break, Young Wai Kong. Yay! Thank you very much, Rufitri. That little glimpse into the book is so little. 
I was really hoping we, we actually can get a little bit more because you know to have the book animated is amazing. Amazing. Why Kong, that was amazing work you've done. I must oh, thank say. you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Did you did you enjoy the process? Um definitely enjoy the process and it's a one one in a lifetime experience. What kind of experience is that? Maybe you can kinda of let us know. Uh I actually met David uh, when he wanted to get an illustrator to draw this book and I was like one of the shortlisted. And then I met him and then I thought I didn't get it. <laughs> he was like, he said, mm, okay, I'll get back to you, you know. Like, then I got it like uh, maybe one, two weeks later and told me like, oh, you got it, you know, like you'll be illustrating this Hikai series and I got very excited. Um, and the journey for this work is, it takes me hard work because I actually draw it in traditional way because this book is 1929. So I do not want to, you know, like draw it with Wakong or very digital, but actually draw it traditionally with traditional illustration, draw and ink, and then with the, um, with the tracing papers, a lot of tracing papers. So when, when, <laughs> when uh, Kakisani came back to me and said, oh, this scene is not right, that one is not right, uh, I have to actually like redraw some scenes. I know, so, that's all my fault. I'm so sorry. That's definitely <laughs> but my that fault. was like a very, very good experience. It's, yeah. So did you maybe record a behind the scene of your entire process? Because I think that process itself is a, it's a huge testimony of how this book is being produced. Did you do that? Yeah. Did you record? Did you picture I or video? I have, uh, I don't have videos. I, I, because I was like busy looking at the scenes, I was also researching on the, what is Bangsawan, what is 1929's Georgetown looks like? How, how do people dress? And David will always tell me, oh, this is wrong. <laughs> this person is dressing wrong. He has to be like in that era, and then the persons there and the and the audiences in the for the theater have to looks like the old British, the old Malay people, the old Indian people. So there's a lot of works to be done. I I cannot capture that, but I, all of them in actually in all the papers. Yeah. Wow. I I hope Shufitri and team will uh, and Laila and the rest will uh, get your photos or make you take some photos now so that we actually have a proper documentation of how this is actually being made. I think this story is quite amazing, too amazing for us to let go. Of course, we need to thank MPH for making this happen for with us. Um, they asked no question. They really just trusted Kakisini and uh, every single time when we were doing a, a book under the Hikayat series, they were very trusting and um, we have good results. So we're really very proud of this partnership. Um, Shufitri, is someone asking us question or are you going to do that or am I going to be the one asking the questions? Okay, we have a few questions. Okay, uh, there's a few questions in the chat. Um, maybe you could check it out. Am I doing the questioning? Okay, I will Okay, then. I'll read the questions. Okay, I'll read the questions. Okay. Um... Here we go. A question from Connie. Are you looking to explore beyond Malay traditional performing arts to include them in the Hikayat series? Actually, we leave the subject matter quite a fair bit to the research and development work of the writer itself, of the writer themselves. So they are the ones who would come back to us most of the time to say that, hey, we would like to feature this particular uh, tradition. And uh, we may have given them initially some ideas of um, a few genres that we would like to feature, but they are free to come back to us and say, we would like to do this instead, or we would like to do that, or this speaks closer to me, etc., etc. So we do practice that. And do we want to explore beyond the um, Malay traditional performing arts? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I know we've said that this is the final series in the Hikayat because that was how it was planned. We planned for three titles. Uh, that was the plan back in 2015, 2016. Um, so moving forward, we'll probably, the team will have to come up with new plans and we'll have to think again, what do we want to feature right now? Do we want it to be in the same format like a book? Is the process too long? Uh, for the audience to wait, for example. So those will be the questions that we will be asking for sure. All right. Next question. 
why did you pick bangsawan out of all the other traditional performing arts despite it not being as well known among adults and the younger generation sebab is not well known lah we have to do kalau <laughs> <laughs> dah well known <laughs> dah well known lah so but but really we we do uh, the team itself actually do have a, a certain amount of love affair with bangsawan actually the three different uh, tradition that we have been featuring from uh, Mayong, Wayang Kulit to Bangsawan, there is a certain amount of um, conversations about them prior to this and it's, this, it's also why um, we were all in when we say let's feature this. Um, but yeah, we want to do more too. So we'll just have to discuss how we're going to do it. We're open to ideas. So if anyone has a different kind of ideas besides children's books, we're quite happy to look at it. Is it animation? Is it a different way of doing things? We, um, uh, is it anime, for example, webtoon style, for example, we're all in. So, Wai Kong, I, I really think you should challenge your students <laughs> and tell them Kakisani is opening, you know, some opportunities yes. to do crazy things. And if they're keen, we are keen as well. Yeah. We have a lot of talents as well. <laughs> exactly. So, we do want to be a platform that allows for more uh, talent to showcase their work. Um, and... Uh, I think combining tradition and uh, a visual art form is, uh, is a very strong way to bring about some education and awareness. Um, but how else are so many platforms today? So just how we use them smartly. Yeah. Okay, okay so we have two questions for uh, Wai Kong. How long did it take you to produce the illustrations? And what is your favorite illustration from the book? Wai Kong, did you learn anything new in, in the process of the of making the book? I think it should be three news very well, right? <laughs> oh, because he has been through the process. Okay, um, definitely uh, the illustration actually took a few stages. We tried the first page and then we tried the 10 pages first, the first phase. And then we go into the second 10 pages. Actually, there's a lot of editing changing, drawing again and so on. So my, my, my own process is that I have to actually sketch it, then use tracing paper to draw it traditionally, and then scan it and digital color so that I can change certain things in Photoshop and so on. And it takes a very, very long time. So every of the steps, it took about uh, two to three months. And then you imagine like the 30 pages, right? <laughs> it will be like, uh, you can calculate the time like six to like six to eight months and then you accumulate it to one year for all the editing, including all the pages. And you can see the the front page, I also actually draw this and these are all my styles, the curvy curvy things, which is like, uh, it matches to Bangsa One. And um, yeah, it, it takes me a, a, quite a long time, like uh, until this, early of this year, we have to do some changes. I actually did the changes as well. We were communicating, uh, communicating as well. Yeah, and the favorite, oh, the favorite part. Okay, I actually love to research and draw Georgetown, the bicycle, which as you see, you actually saw in the animations with the bicycle. I got very, very excited and happy. That that was one of my favorite scene, and they, yeah, that was one of my favorite scene. Oh yeah, it's this one. Yeah. Oh man. I cannot. <laughs> yeah, I can see this yeah, one. yeah. Oh. Yeah, this one. And then I also have another scene which is I really, really love, which is the the Teochew opera one. Because this is very difficult to draw. And it's it takes a lot of time for me to research and everything. And because there are many characters inside that, because personally I draw cats. I don't draw doodles and draw cats a lot. And when I have to draw this, uh, when I look at the story, because we don't know, I don't know the story, I know a little bit of the story from David. I said, can I disclose with you first, unless you got selected. When I got selected, then you all can reach, I read through the stories. And it was like, oh, a lot of fighting scenes, a lot of people, a lot of actions. And I have to draw every single human with different characters and different scenes from 1920s. So I need to do a lot of researches. Somebody is playing harmonium, the scenes of Indian house, the Malay house, how does it look like? And David will say, this doesn't look like a Malay house. This <laughs> looks like modern Malay house. I cannot have the lamb here, I cannot have this. I have, I have to draw, draw that. And the Chinese um, at that time wearing the Kung Fu uh, outfit and so on. Yeah, it, and also the Bangsawan uh, theater, 
how does it look like on theater and on the stage and the people the audience of the of the of the yeah the audience the audience of the theater as well so it took a it took me a long time to research every move everything every actions every gestures and and it takes uh, a very long time to illustrate it to sketch to illustrate and come into color it and then proof <laughs> And also come back from from Yuan <laughs> and Laila, yeah. yeah. So are you happy with the end result? Actually, I'm definitely like, very happy. When I actually, I've never had this conversation <laughs> with you before, right? I was just like, dop, dop. <laughs> yeah, you would say, oh, this hand, you know, like uh, my moon's hand have to be but I have to draw again. I remember drawing the hand like <laughs> five rounds. <laughs> no, no, not like that. I have to draw again. Yeah, uh, I got very very happy when I first received. The draw the 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 printed one. I was like, oh, my first illustration, <laughs> first book. So how the details? How do you research them actually? Uh, I have to, I actually have to ask David first. Okay, what's the scenes like? Like this? Is this correct? Is this correct? And so on. Because I couldn't get what Bang Sawan looks like in, on the internet. Seriously, you could you couldn't get a lot a lot of details. That's right. And the closest the closest that I could get is actually from YouTube video, which is like Pete Romney's time where you have the Bang Sawan dancing and everything. That was the closest thing things that I got. So I got inspirations from there. Uh, and and the rest is was the the rest was the pictures actually, black and white pictures. This person, that person had to like look at the body of my moon wearing at home. How does it look like? And how does she look like when she is she she's a performer? So so it's a lot of things that I have to like look through. Yeah. So I've always wanted to ask it, and I think I asked the team many times, right? So if you look at the characters, I mean, I'm just going to pick this particular page where you have my moon. If you look at her character, you can see like there's a there's like a there's like a blue gleam. There's like a yeah. blue gleam around it. Like it's like a really special thing, and you only do that for some of the characters and not even all, right? So do you yeah, want to tell us a little bit about that? It's uh, it's the main characters that I actually put in the blue shadows. I call it, and that's because all the works that I did, the illustrations that I did, the doodlings that I did. Uh, if I made the colors, I always have the shadows, so I do not want my signature to be gone from the book. So I want it to be there. <laughs> ah, so it's a signature thing. Yeah. amazing. It's a signature things for my for my work. Okay, let's talk about the colors. It's really interesting, um, the colors choice that you're choosing. Um, it's slightly muted. It's not the bright, you know, like the bright, bright that you would imagine. And the palette um, choice is also very interesting. Do you want to bring us through that a little bit? Uh, I have two, like, two choices of the colors. One is mostly about the theater and the bangsa one. So you see the backdrops behind actually is my drawing and the color. And I love vibrant colors for that. And I made these colors like my palette, okay, red, pink, yellow, and orangey, brown. So those were, those were, those were my first work that I sent to Kakisani. was the first one, the first pieces together with uh, David interviewed me and so on. So that was, that was the part. I, don't, I do not want to get out from that. And also the rest of the colors that is pastel blue, green, yellowish, and so on, right? Because I do not want everything to look so bright. And I want another complementary color set to, to come in the book. So I have that set, I never get up from that. So some, some are like purplish and so on. So some are like paste those colors. So I enjoy like making two colors together and it looks good. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks okay for me. <laughs> have you shown this to anyone? Have you shown this, I don't know, to your family? Oh. Definitely, I actually sent back to some people and sent back to my family as well because my family also in, in my hometown is Surabhan. I stayed in Penang for 10 years. So I actually have this book and I sent back to some friends I actually sent because I signed them. I signed them here and I, uh, in, my, in my name there so that I can actually send, send them. Yeah. What do they say? They say, bravo, <laughs> congratulations. So I got very excited about it. <laughs> Definitely excited. Okay, I hope the long process is not going to stop you from doing more books or, you know, coming up with, I mean, participating yes. in more work Thank like you. this. Yeah. And I want to take this opportunity, opportunity to thank David 
Laila, Yuan, for the opportunity. And Kaki Sani, Sufi Tree as well. We, we were in the group, <laughs> the WhatsApp group. Yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity. It was like once in a lifetime. Oh, we're, we're, we're actually really proud of this work. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, have were... a, I have a question. I have a hmm. question for Wai Kong. Um, what do you think of this story? What do you like about the story? I think the story will cultivate the culture that is already lost, I think. Because nobody will know about Bangsawan. Like, oh, the new generations, do they care about Bangsawan? They, no, I don't think so. But it, it's the book that is making me to realize that this is actually the lost culture that we should preserve. Not only like Malay culture, but Chinese or Indian or any Malaysian cultures. We need to preserve all this. And this is like a very good movement. And I got very excited when I worked on this project and it, it brings a lot of meanings to me because I love cultural things as well. Mm. Yeah, so you flip through the pages, you can see quite a fair bit of Penang in here. Um, did you have to stay true to the architecture of the buildings in order to, to make sure that it comes out properly? Yes, I have to. Okay, if you... <laughs> if. You get the book. At the end of the book, there's actually very small kamta there. <laughs> when things got modern, okay, when you uh, go into traditional, right, actually the scenes uh, will have some of the houses of Georgetown, the colorful uh, houses, uh, shop houses of Georgetown, and the temples is from Georgetown as well. And one of the very signature um, uh, uh, malls is there as well as the rest of the people are uh, like dressing in traditional and which I have to like look at the the areas of culture. Yeah. Yeah, I see the Komta. So the final page actually how old is uh, Rahman? Rama is old already. He's uh he's he's the grandfather and he's telling stories to you know like he's proud of his <laughs> achievement when uh, he was a kid. So he told a story to told stories to his uh, grandchildren in his house. So the house is modern, it's okay. They will say, okay, this house is modern, it's okay. <laughs> so he's like near 90 years old, wouldn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very old. Yeah, very old, but he still looked very quiet, lah, so it's very good. Yeah. Okay, so I really, really, really hope everyone should try to get um, their hands on this book. Um, just to check it out, especially in how much work and love and passion all the people who put behind this book is amazing. The amount of love. Uh, once again, thank you, Wai Kong, for being a part of this. I think there's one question from Connie. Uh, yeah. What is we the have, one thing yeah. uh, that you learned or least expected during this entire process? Me? Is it me? Yes, yes, Wai Kong, <laughs> yes. Um, Yuan, Yuan, if he wants, also wants to answer, <laughs> can also. There's fighting scenes in the book, and I was like struggling, oh, fighting, I couldn't tell, oh, <laughs> fighting scenes, and um, dancing scenes, ah, that was very tough, that was, that was like, very tough for me. But I, I have to like look at YouTube videos, look at salsa, look at how dancing done, how, get, how to do kung fu steps, and which is very pop prominent um, steps that can be illustrated and how they make sense to people and then you don't need a lot of movements but the, the book don't move right because you, you need to illustrate the movement and it has to show the, the kung fu actions and so on so that was the challenge yeah so what would you have done differently to the process actually if you have to redo it again time constraint uh, I don't think I will change anything <laughs> because because it's 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 definitely a time to grow and process and develop. When you look at the books and definitely you will see some it's not so perfect because my circles is not perfect. The ways that I draw also not perfect. Maybe my face is slanted and so on. Because that we have to celebrate the imperfection, isn't it? Like at the time, and then we grow further. I I would I wouldn't change anything. Uh, in the book, as uh, in the book, I don't, I don't think so because this is this is what captured in the time. So, but if let's say I have another opportunity to draw another book, it might be very different from this. Yeah, I like that very much. I think that's the uh, true artist spirit. The way you answer it, <laughs> even though okay. if you ask me what is the artist spirit, I will tell you authentic lah, authentic. 
Yeah. And I like the pencil lines. I, I will not change the pencil lines with work. Well, I love that too. I love that too. In fact, I, that was one of the be, like, <laughs> biggest like reason that. why why when we first saw your work, we thought you would be you would be fantastic for us to also experiment and try new things Thank with. You. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Shafitri. I think uh, right. if you um, have more questions, otherwise we're actually quite good. One more question. Uh, I want to know what's your favorite page, Yuan? Oh, my favorite yeah. page? Oh, <laughs> alama, alama. Well, um, I actually really, really like uh, this page. Um, let me see if there's no, uh, this particular page. I made some changes to it many times. I remember doing it uh, and I, I apologize. Uh, you can see from this page that I question. So the expressions of all these people, uh, these are all the Bangsawan um, artists, um, actors. Um, and um, according to the text, they were supposed to be surprised. But in the initial few drawings that Waikong sent us, I'm like, yeah. this, is nice. this is some yeah. other face. I think they are angry. Yeah. Change it to surprise. They're not was, angry. They should be angry. I was like angry. drawing the um, eyebrow, right? In the the eyebrow way. and the I, I couldn't. So finally, change, when this <laughs> came out, then it sort of like worked really well for the storytelling, and I, I and and then that's you know I I'm happy with that. I think a lot of times because I read uh, to my children and I have so many, so when I read to them, everything needs to gel. The amount of words in a sentence, the sing along like of the wordings um uh the amount of words in one whole page for example those things do matter to me and it's quite particular so uh i think i the one thing that i think i get for a lot of people hell is about deadlines and um timelines and i am one of those who really will look like a book for a long time before feed, before giving the feedback so Lila and uh, the team is usually, yeah, we have deadlines. We have deadlines. Wai Kong is waiting faster. <laughs> if not, he's going to be busy and he won't be able to do this anymore. Quick, quick. So it, it's a lot of that, um, a lot of push also from everyone. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very gratifying and very satisfying. And of course, uh, we thank um, all the people who also contributed, like Edin Poo, as well as uh, uh, Prof. Dr. Joseph Gonzalez, who gave us, you know, uh, a couple of words about the book and how they feel about the book. So we're also very grateful to, for that. Yeah. I agree with Joanne that we need more local storybooks. I really agree. I really agree. But you cannot believe um, um, that it is not really easy to publish and to distribute. I think uh, the amount of funding that's required there, um, we don't have as much um, resources compared to, say, developed countries, for example, who already know that this is part of their agenda and that this is important to produce. Um, you're right, every school should make this their literary and their literacy material. I absolutely agree. I mean, the amount of treasure that you can find in every single page, the amount of little details that you could like zoom in and say, whoa, look at this building and look at the, what the clothes that they're wearing, look at the color. It's enough for weeks of a curriculum, actually, weeks of it. So this is the kind of treasure um, that we're very proud of, that we want you to be a part of as well. All right, thank you so much, Yuan and Wai Kong. Congratulations. We are so excited <laughs> to, to, you know, to bring this to more young people and you know, figure out what we can do with the book. Um, with that, the launch of Rahman's Big Break has now come to an end. If you have any questions, feedback, or if you want to get your hands on the book, do email us at contact at kakisini.com or send us a message on Kakisini's Facebook, Instagram or Twitter to get your hands on Rahman's Big Break, The Girls Who Loves to Dance or Shadows. And the two winners of this Hikayat series are Jang 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 Cairo Ashraf Muhammad Woo! and Chai XLs. Yay! All right, with that, our event here has come to an end. Thank you for joining us tonight. We hope you enjoy 
Georgetown Literary Festival 2020 and um, the rest of uh, GTLF. Stay safe and take care. And But before we leave, we want to have a group photo. Oh, group photo. Yay. And I agree with Ken. We will distribute to all the schools. The year will be 2021. Yes. Not 2012. Yes. If you're a teacher, you can also um, just contact us if you're interested to, to get your hands on the book or, you know, do some activation with us. Yeah, we could send you some material as well. Okay, okay group ready? photo, how do we do okay. that? How do we do this? Okay, well, let's go to back to gallery view. I think that, okay, is everyone inside now? Okay, so who would like to do the honors of uh, taking a screenshot? Okay. One, two, three. I can freeze like this forever, you know? <laughs> Do we get it? Down below. <laughs> Down below. Okay. Hang on. All right. Okay. One, Thank one you so time. much. One sorry. more time. William, say one, one more time. time. One more time. Yep. Okay. Okay. Sorry. The screen like. Okay. Good. All right. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much thank for you, joining us you. tonight. Enjoy the rest of GTLF 2020. Stay safe. Take care. And please read a lot. <laughs> read a lot. That's for sure. Okay. Good night, everyone. And good night. Thank you. Stream stopping. <laughs>